Well, hello there. My name is Corey Anko. I am the assistant curator with the Draper Natural History Museum. And today, I just want to give a brief plug about our upcoming lunchtime expedition speaker, Dr. Larry Haney, curator of mammals at the Field Museum of Natural History. Dr. Haney is going to talk about the rich biodiversity located in the Philippine archipelago. So we thought it would be helpful to provide a little bit of context about the mechanisms behind speciation. Now, for the purposes of this video, when I say species, I'm referring to a group of organisms that can readily interbreed and exchange genetic material and produce fertile offspring. Now, this definition is from the biological species concept, and that's just one definition of a species, and it has its limitation. But we'll dive into species concepts in a later video. Now, speciation is the process by which one species diverges into two or more. And while there are several mechanisms and factors that can influence the diversification of species, today I just want to hone in on just a few. Allopatric speciation is when a physical barrier such as a wide river, a really large mountain, or something like a desert ecosystem separates members of the same species into two large populations. If that physical barrier exists for a long enough time, we're talking on the orders of tens of hundreds of thousands of years, those two populations no longer exchange genetic material, and selective pressures at play may then result in the fixation of mutations within each population. Now, peripatric speciation is when a subpopulation of the much larger population breaks off and forms a new species due to a physical barrier. So as with allopatric speciation, a physical barrier is at play preventing the genetic exchange of material between the two populations. But the difference is in peripatric speciation, the new species is comprised of far fewer individuals. Now the third concept I want to talk about is parapatric speciation. Parapatric speciation is when you have diversification of an organism over a large geographic area. And while genetic exchange may occur between several subpopulations, it is less so among populations. And again, in all instances, diversification and niche specialization occurs over time. Bullocks orioles and Baltimore orioles both occur in North America. Bullocks tend to be more Western North America with Baltimore orioles in Eastern North America. However, the two species do overlap and have a bit of a hybrid zone. As research has shown, that hybrid zone has continued to shrink with time and eventually will result in complete geographic separation between the two species. In the Philippine archipelago, we likely have instances of each of these different speciation mechanisms at play, and the end result is a rich, diverse island ecosystem. Now, if you think this brief video was interesting, you won't want to miss Dr. Haney's talk tomorrow, September 30th, from 12 to 1 p.m. in the Co Auditorium. Again, this talk is free, and if you aren't able to join us in person, you can join us remotely via Zoom, and the registration link is included below. We hope you'll be able to join us. If you like this video, press the thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, let us know if you want more content.